Hello viewers, today I'm going to put my hands on the latest uh, Huawei X3 Pro Wi-Fi router, the cheapest uh, Wi-Fi 6 router on the market. This one cost me uh, 289 RMB, which is around uh, 50 US dollars. So what we can see first is the uh, router itself. Let's see that later and uh, check out what's what's in the box first. So we have a DC charger, a white one. I don't know why it's white because the uh, Wi-Fi router is black. It's not that uh, nice to see. And uh, use the menu. So in the back of the box, so we will see some main feature of this uh, Wi-Fi router. I suppose Wi-Fi 6 and uh, uh, equipped with Huawei Lin Xiao 4 core CPU. So let's see the router itself. It has four Ethernet uh, ports supporting for 1000 megabytes. So as we can see that the, there's no identification for which one is the WAN or LAN because this Wi-Fi router supports the blind plugin and the system will automatically detect which is the WAN and which is the uh, LAN. It's kind of friendly for uh, newbies who is not familiar with the, uh, the root system. So first, um, I'm going to do some basic tests of this Wi-Fi router. We can see that we, we are now connected to the uh, Wi-Fi 6 connection. And the uh, speed is 2400. Let's go for the uh, speed test first. I'm now connected to the internet with a China Telecom 1000 megabyte uh, network with 1000 megabyte uh, download and uh, 100 megabyte upload. So now it's doing around 821 megabytes per second. Uh, it's not that bad compared to the Wi-Fi 5. And the output speed here is around 110 or 20 something. Okay, the second thing I'm going to do too uh, is to do an uh, upload and download test. I have connected my other laptop to the uh, router with uh, cable and I'm going to copy something from the uh, disk laptop to my uh, local desktop to see the speed. Okay, we are now doing around 80 MB per second, almost 90. Yes, we're over 90 now. It's now working like a uh, 1000 megabyte uh, network, much better than the performance in uh, Wi-Fi 5. And now we'll do an upload as well. I'm going to delete the uh, file on my remote desktop and uh, doing a copy paste on it. It's doing much better than the uh, download speed. It's now uh, 110 megabytes per second. So now I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi network and connect the desktop to the Wi-Fi router with an Ethernet cable and to have a comparison for the uh, cabled network and the, uh, the Wi-Fi network. Oh, I see it's connected to the channel unit on this is not that right when will have some impact on my uh, test result. Let's do that again. I'm going to change to China Telecom.
Okay, let's see how this work. Okay, now it's doing around 920 megabytes per second. It's faster than the uh, Wi-Fi 6 network, but still, uh, difference is not that big compared to uh, the old times we are using the Wi-Fi 5 network. Upload speed is 115 something. That's uh, similar to the Wi-Fi 6 network performance. So now I'm going to do another test. I'm going to connect my uh, remote laptop with the Wi-Fi 5 instead of the uh, LAN cable to see how it works uh, within uh, under the Wi-Fi 5 network. First, now connect, and uh, we're going to do the same test. I'm going to first uh, upload a, a file to my remote desktop to see how it works. As we can see now it's much slower than, uh, than the performance and the Wi-Fi 6 network is doing only uh, 70 megabytes per second. Now we're going to do a download test. Uh, it's still slower than uh, what we have for the uh, Wi-Fi 6 network, and much slower, I would say. So around uh, 60 MB per second. Okay, this is all the tests I'm going to do today. To conclude, this is a Wi-Fi router with the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology, only less than 50 US dollars. It's really a good bargain. On the downside, uh, this Wi-Fi router uh, doesn't have the USB ports, which uh, make it not that good for people who is going to use the Wi-Fi router as the uh, NAS system at the same time. But still, 50 US dollars, what you expecting? And thank you very much for watching, have a good day.